Well, today, me and Adrian are going out shopping. We uh, had forgotten to, because my um, uh, aunt had sent him some money for Christmas, and she sent him $50. And we are actually going to go out and buy him some toys. Don't let him know. I might find toys that Daddy likes and, and save it for him. <laughs> No, but we're gonna go out. He loves Hot Wheels and things like that. So we're probably gonna, well, card and stop, do that. But yesterday I found something that he loves. It is a Scooby-Doo monster truck. Adrian, who's this? Scooby-Doo monster truck. Yeah, Scooby-Doo monster truck. Here, you wanna play with it? <laughs> I was trying to watch the road. <laughs> Do you like Scooby Doo? He's got a Lightning McQueen in his other hand. Yes, yeah, Scooby Doo. As you can tell, he's. Uh -oh. Drop it. oh, you dropped it? No, you still got it. Uh -uh. What is it? Uh -uh. Won't get. What happened? Uh oh, he's probably dropped Lightning McQueen. I can't get I can't get it right now, buddy. We'll get it here in a little bit, okay? The joy is uh letting him have cars and vehicle. <laughs> nah, but we're gonna go out, get him a few little toys, and hopefully he uh enjoys it. Cause right now the where my wife works, they're doing a massive rollout and a lot of people are on call this weekend, so she can't really be away from the computer for very long so to give her a little bit of a break from like the noise in the house and everything I thought me and Adrian go out and do a few little things together but let's we'll see what we can find and show we got whoa 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 Well, basically, we went to one store. I was going to go to to Toys R Us and a bunch of places like that and look around. But they actually had quite a bit, like, since the new Cars movie is coming out, they actually had quite a bit of new car stuff. Well, that also means all the older Cars stuff they had, they put on clearance. So, we got quite a few things. Um, like this thing here, I don't know why it says as is. But it, it's like six, it's like half the price. So, I don't know, like it doesn't look like it's been opened or anything. I guess, but maybe, like this other thing, it was like, it was 50% off too. And other was like, it had Mac and like it's a big play set. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'll carry those for it. And they also found some more of the, these things I love. All right. These things, holy cow, they are awesome. They are called the Tonka Tinies? Yeah, Tinies. They're like micro machines. If you remember, my, if you grew up and you remember micro machines, these things are freaking awesome. They're like little tiny cars. I love like these little cars like this. And Adrian likes them too, because we, we got two of the I think there's only two play sets out for it. But we got both of those, and uh, he loves playing with those. But what I'm going to do is or what I'm looking for, is I'm looking for a bunch of like the uh, Lego bricks, like the the uh, the regular size, not, not not like the tiny size for little kids, but for the regular size ones. And, um, I mean, not the bigger size, I mean for the little tiny ones. And I want the, once this a flat top, it, so that you basically it turns one of the little peg things that stick up, turns them flat. The reason why is what I wanna do is I have this thing, it's like, it looks like a book, when you open it up, it's got a little Lego board in it. And I want to basically make a racetrack and that's big enough so he can put these on it and race with them. So well, so that's what I'm going to do for us. Uh, so like when he goes somewhere, it has a little elastic band that goes around it, and he'll be able to just like push him around. So that's something I can just have with me that he can play with, like if, so that anytime. 
So I, I wanted to play with actual physical things instead of staying on the iPad all the time. Like, yeah, I could take that. Like, I got, got his iPad in here. And I could like, oh, I like, oh yeah, I can take that out and let him play with it and do stuff like that. Yeah, I think everything's in it. It looks well, maybe, maybe it's been, hopefully it hasn't been opened and people have stolen everything out of it. That would suck, but it sounds like everything's in it or most of the stuff's in it. But if not, no big deal. It's like six bucks. <laughs> But yeah. You having fun, buddy? You got Gooby Doo there? You got Lightning? He got a new Lightning McQueen Tatar. You want Mac? Huh? You want Mac? You want Mac? Mac's in one of these boxes. He saw you it. You want Mac? <laughs> you want Mac? You want Mac? Mac? You'll get Mac when we get home. Mac. No, it's okay, buddy. Mac, we'll get Mac when you get home. Mac. <laughs> We'll open it when we get home. Want me to hold it? Thank you. This is, a, this is the new light that he got. Basically, when it goes in any direction, it can, the top of it can spin. Max in the box. When we get home, I'll, let, I'll, get, I'll get him out for you, okay? Adrian. So basically, you can do that, and it go across, and you can make the lightning spin like he's on a dirt track. It's very cool. No, it's okay. Here, here. Hold that. Okay. I'll get you back when we get to the house. Okay? Where's Scooby Doo? <laughs> Scooby Doo? Where's Scooby Doo Monster Truck? He's gone. <laughs> no, he's not gone. He's sitting there right there between your legs. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's back there. He's got like two Lightning McQueen cars and uh, his Scooby Doo Monster Truck. <laughs> He got all kinds of toys back there with him. He still wants more. <laughs> but we'll probably go back out later. Christy will probably go with me. I think she's finishing up some stuff. I basically, I'll stay out longer too, but I really got to pee. And I don't really want to take him into the bathroom because he likes to handle everything. And yeah. So I'm going home and pee and see if Christy wants to go back out to Toys R Us with us. If not, I might go back out with him. We'll see. Going out with Adrian today, it's pretty fun. Um, watching him just do things is really fun. He's very friendly. There's people in the stores, like, I was standing looking at, they basically, in Target, they had this end of the aisle, had a bunch of clearance stuff on. And I was looking at all the cars that they had and trying to see, find ones that he would like. Because they had things marked, like, really low down that we would, I would have gotten normally. I was like, okay, that's cool. And as I was in there looking at things, I had, so I was looking, sitting here at the buggy. He was in the buggy. He had that uh, Lightning McQueen one that spins and everything. So he had that in his hand. And there's this lady was, uh, she's standing here looking at something on this side. And Adrian reached over. He didn't, he tried to touch her, but he didn't. He, he said, hey, what do we do? And she turned around and she talked to him for a minute. He loves it because when people talk to him, so he's very friendly. He he does that to little kids. He does that to people. To go shopping with Adrian, got him a lot of toys. Didn't let him out. Basically, he didn't open every one of them. And we kind of, what we do is we kind of like um, slowly give them to him. So that it's like, oh, cool. Like I got a bunch of new toys and He'll play with one, then he'll move to that, and, and you don't. He doesn't really play with any one very much. He just kind of bounces around. So what we do is we kind of like we'll let him play with, give him, a, give him like a few of them, let him play with them, and then when he kind of gets tired of that, we'll maybe give him another one, or we'll keep it. And like sometimes he does have a meltdown, and it's it, that's a good way. If if you're like really late for something, or you really need to get out of the house to. Like, we got to take him to drop him off. And he's just having a meltdown. And this this is something that doesn't happen, but maybe once. It's, it's only happened, like, twice. Um, and that's, like, like and yeah, about three, and almost three years, he's only done it twice. To where, like, you just could not put his clothes on to get him ready to take him out. To basically just take him to his grandparents to um, so that me and my wife could go to this dinner. And he just... Oh man, I, and I don't even know why he did it, but basically what we did was just like, "Hey, Adrian, look at this," 
and it was a new monster truck toy. And he was like, ooh, and he just ended it. I understand that's one of those things you're trying, it's, people are like, oh no, you can't do that, you're rewarding bad behavior, and next time he does it, he's going to expect it. No, if he has a meltdown, and we're not really in there, there's no need for anything, let him work through it. And I understand that when I was younger, and like there would be a kid crying in a, in a store or something, and it's like, oh God, that's killing me. How does those how do those parents deal with it? You get used to it. You do. That your that kid that's screaming in that that's in the mall or in the store or something. However old that kid is, they've been listening to that for a long time. <laughs> So it doesn't phase them anymore. With Adrian, he'll sometimes he'll he'll uh, uh, like like if he wakes up early and he gets and he eats breakfast early. Um, during something he'll get hungrier before lunch, and we try not to like mess up his eating schedule. But the grandparents have already do that enough. So, but we try to feed him at the same time each day so that he gets into this routine, and he. Sometimes it, he'll get really, really cranky because he's hungry. He's getting a little hungry. And um, so we basically will wait a little while. Okay, now it's it's dinner. I mean, it's now it's lunchtime. Feed him lunch. He's fine. But, yeah. The parents, so it's not uncommon for a, a kid to just whine or something. They get tired. They cry and whine because they don't want to go to sleep. But they're tired. They want to lay down. But they don't want to lay down and... Yeah, they're used to it. Am I used to it? I'm getting there. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get off here. Like I said, wow, I talked for way too long. But hope you guys had a good day. That was good. Adrian got to go out. Me and Adrian got to go out. Played with him a lot. Played with the puppies a lot. Good day. And talk to everybody tomorrow.